Welcome to the IRC Equipment Review. This video provides an overview of IRC equipment, policy, procedure, and pricing. It features the roll laminator, sheet laminator, Ellison die cut machines and collections, and button makers. Equipment is located inside the IRC proper. As such, the IRC must be open and staffed for users to work with the roll laminator, sheet laminator, Allison machines, and button makers. Let's take a closer look at the IRC roll and sheet laminator. The IRC has a roll laminator, so named because the film is located on the machine in rolls. It is a GBC Ultima 65 heat seal laminator, similar to what you will see in schools. Laminating film rolls are 27 inches wide and 250 feet long. This means that users may laminate items up to 26 inches in width. Wider items will not fit in the machine. Generally speaking, length is not an issue. It costs $1 per foot, measured in length, to use the roll laminator. Not all materials can safely laminate. For instance, puffy stickers and thick poster board will not fit through the machine rollers. Other items, such as Polaroids, metal, googly eyes, corrugated cardboard, and sandpaper may damage the heat rollers. The IRC has two sheet or pouch laminators. Items are placed inside a laminating pouch and processed through the machine. Laminate pouches are 8.5 by 11 inches in size. A sheet of copy paper will fit inside. Cost to laminate is $1 per sheet. We do have a few 11 by 17 laminating pouches. These are mostly used with the menu projects. Remember, same materials forbidden to use in the roll laminator are prohibited from sheet laminators as well. Finally, while the roll laminator is most often cheapest to use, preheat and prep time may be a factor when either laminator meets the project needs. The roll laminator takes 10 to 15 minutes to preheat. The sheet laminator takes two to three minutes to preheat before use. Let's take a closer look at the Ellison die cut machine and dies. The IRC has five Prestige Pro Ellison die cut machines. One is located on the laminar side of the IRC, and four are located on the IRC desk side of the room. Ellison die cuts, grouped by category and type, are located on the counters on both sides of the IRC. IRC pricing information is posted on the Ellison Machine Bulletin Board and the IRC price list. Keep in mind, when using our paper, the charge is a penny per cut, or five cents per sheet of construction paper. They are not charged both. The IRC has a 400 plus Ellison die cut collection that includes single dies, borders, double cuts, and alphabets. When asked about specific items, there are two easy ways to answer the question. Check the master list on the IRC desk. All dies are listed alphabetically. Or review the IRC Pinterest site where dies are grouped in categories for more information. One of the most frequently asked questions refers to placement of the die on the machine. Place the paper on the cutting pad and the die rubber side down on the paper. Slide the cutting paper, pad, and die completely into the machine before processing the cut. Users often process multiples of the same die cut. If asked, two to five sheets of construction paper work best. It will require multiple handle pulls. When attempting to use too much paper, users may comment the die needs sharpened. It is most often they are using too many sheets of paper. A good rule of thumb is if scissors can cut the materials, so can the Ellison machine. However, there are materials not recommended due to excessive wear and tear on the machine. Do not use any kind of magnet or magnet back paper, sandpaper, leather, or self-adhesive back paper. 
all can potentially cause damage. Let's take a closer look at the IRC's button maker and circle cutters. The button maker area contains equipment for assembling buttons. We have 1 and 5 8 inch, 2 and 1 3rd inch, and 3 and 1 8 inch buttons. There are containers with three different sizes of assembly dies and circle cutters for each button size. Two bench presses and printed directions are located in this area. You will use circle cutters to cut the button inserts to size. Button supplies are located in the cabinet next to the IRC desk. Materials for each size button are in labeled containers. When working with the button maker, the process is simpler if you take time to line up the assembly die and button parts. The assembly die has three parts. There are four parts to the button. The shell, insert, plastic, and pin. When putting the button together in the assembly die, place in the shell, paper insert, and plastic to start. When adding the pin, be sure to place it pin side down. It has to be usable. The final step is using the bench press. Fit the notch into the press and pull down the handle. Every button finishes with this same step. A full price list for using equipment and supplies is available on the bulletin board next to the IRC desk. Prices are also posted on the IRC website. Are you ready for the quiz? Remember, feel free to review this video, peruse the materials in the handbook, and ask if you have any questions.